In December 1931, an article appeared in the Des Moines Register. Enterprising citizens of Templeton have erected above the garlands which adorn Main Street a good-sized replica of the little brown jug used to dispense the community's own brand of rye. On the jug are the words, Xmas Spirits. Had it not been for a recent upturn in the Templeton rye business cycle, many a child of distiller and bootlegger might have had to go without Christmas toys. But there is a Santa Claus after all, and the stimulus of purchases by those who want a bit of a nip for holiday cheer has lifted business from the depths of depression. The Des Moines Register. No doubt Templetonians thought a little Christmas humor was all in good fun, especially after Joe Earlbeck beat the rap. Instead, it sparked outrage all around Iowa, as many felt the little brown jug was proof positive all of Templeton was part of a bootlegging conspiracy. That was the case agent Frank Wilson was about to make. He just needed a break in the case and he would soon get it. <laughs>